Hi, and welcome to Book Chat with Julie. I'm Julie with the Argenta Library, and we're part of the North Little Rock Library System here in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And welcome to my dining room table. I have a special guest with me this time. This is my beautiful daughter in love, Rachel, and she's going to help talk about uh, some of these uh, gift giving ideas for your favorite book lover. So this month, um, we're going to have a few little Christmas reads. Um, if you like James Patterson, I've, I've never really done a James Patterson book in my book chat, but this is a really great uh, Christmas um, book, and it's about the 12 days of Christmas, and so it's little short stories about the 12 days of Christmas, and something funny and comical happens on each day, and that is a great uh, Christmas book. The nice thing about uh, these type of books, they make great gift books because they're short stories. And when you're getting ready for the holidays, uh, for whichever holiday you celebrate during this time of year, those books with the little short stories or the novellas are perfect for nighttime or when you have a break in between uh, cookie baking and you, you have 15 minutes to read while your cookies are baking, that, that's a great book. Another great book, and you all know that I love and support Amy Clipston. Um, she, Sheila Roberts, and Melissa Ferguson all went together, and they have On the Way to Christmas. It's three stories, and Amy's story is called A Perfectly Splendid Christmas. <clears throat> and if you liked um, her other books, you're going to join in with some of the characters that you've already fallen in love with. So check out On the Way to Christmas, Three Stories by Sheila Roberts, Melissa Ferguson, and Amy Clifton. Those make for great nighttime reads or like I said, during the daytime um, when you're busy shopping. These are perfect to have in the car with you. If you have to wait on something, you can get that little story done. Now, who doesn't like something maybe in a little blue box with a white ribbon? Something from Tiffany's by Melissa Hill. Two very different men are shopping for gifts for the women they love. Gary is buying his girlfriend Rachel a charm bracelet, whereas Ethan's looking for something a little more special. An engagement ring. But when the two men's shopping bags get confused, the couple's lives become intertwined. And this is also soon to be a motion picture by Hello Sunshine, which you know is Reese Witherspoon's uh, production company. So be on the lookout for a little something from Tiffany's. A great holiday read. I love the story about Rachel. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> So some of the items that uh, make for great gifts for book lovers is obviously um, I have two books that are wrapped and these are actually from Shelley Shepard Gray. They were gifts to me from her and these are her two um, Christmas books. There's an Amish Christmas star and Christmas at the Amish market and she sent those to me wrapped like that and I'm getting ready to read them this month, but um, I haven't unwrapped them yet because they were so pretty. And inside each book, she had either some little post-it notes or uh, the other one came with like a little coin purse with um, her insignia on it. And that's just another great way that you can give somebody that you know, uh, if you, especially if you know their favorite author um, or their favorite likes, maybe their favorite cookbook. And Rachel's going to show us another little idea for a Christmas gift. One thing that I love getting as my Christmas gift is a journal. Um, I've seen that book lovers love to just like reflect or um, be able to write down their thoughts. And then we also have like some stickers. And Miss Julie's notorious for some pins. Um, we love those. So yeah, those are some really good ideas that I enjoy. And you can get as your book lover. You can always find either homemade jam or even jam from the grocery store. Put a little bow on that and maybe um, a bookmark if you have. Um, that makes a little great pairing in a little bag, uh, maybe for your neighbor. Or you don't know what they read. Um, you can. That's another great thing. Some of the other books that I have is I have um, A Wish for Winter by Viola Shipman. Um, I've shown Viola Shipman's books um, in many book chats as well. And this is a new winter book. And sometimes I've mentioned before that our favorite TV shows, our favorite authors, uh, maybe 
you're, they're not known for Christmas books, but, or a Christmas show, but they will come out at Christmas time or any of the holidays and they will write a holiday themed book. This is the um, Virgin River series, Holidays in Virgin River by Robin Carr. That's a popular uh, TV series right now on Netflix. Fern Michaels, I think she has a Christmas book um, or a holiday book um, out every year. Um, you can always find little trinket gifts like this that you could put a bookmark in. You could put a gift card uh, maybe to um, hopefully a local indie bookstore um, as well as some of the big box stores. But a local indie bookstore would appreciate um, um, your business as well during the holiday time. That's just a little penguin stocking that you could stick something in. Maybe some of those pins with the journal. Um, but And last but not least, check with your book lover to see do they have a library card? Whether you live here in Arkansas or you live wherever you live, check to see where your local library, sometimes your local library might even have some little giveaways, bookmarks and things that you could make a little uh, gift basket for your book lover. Um, and so this is one for Layman Library, which is us. Um, and with that, you can not only check out books, but you have all the downloadables and a library card is one of the best gifts that I think you could probably give for a Christmas gift. Um, it's free to you and it's free to them. Mm -hmm. Put a little bow on it, maybe on a plate of cookies and give them a library card. Your local library might even give you a blank card and then you, that person can take it to the library and set up their own account with their personal information and things like that. Um, if you're local and you know somebody, you can uh, get with me at the Argenta Library or anybody at the Layman Library and we can get you made one up. This is actually one that was made for Rachel. So Rachel Aww. now has her own Layman Library card Yay. and I'm going to show her after we get done filming some of the downloadables um, because she has gotten into audiobooks. Yes. And that is, as everybody knows, I like to read, but I also love to listen to audiobooks as well. Awesome. Well, thank you. So I hope this gives you some great ideas for some holiday gifts, maybe a birthday gift if, you do, if you're not really into the holiday books. Um, we've got plenty of others to choose from, but just some gifts, ways to do gifts um, for any kind of occasion, just to give a book lover a gift because book lovers love gifts all the time. <laughs> so I want to wish you all a very happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever celebration you're celebrating over these next few weeks, um, we're celebrating with you. Um, so we will see you after the new year, 2023. Can you believe we've been doing book chats since 2020? So again, I wish you all a very happy holidays and thank you again for joining us at another Book Chat with Julie.